So we're here at South Tipperary again and um, this area steeped again in the flying columns and the history. Um, so I'm walking up along a hedge here and we've actually passed what I'm going to show you. And that's the way it would have been back in the day as well. It wouldn't have been noticeable. Now, um, there's two things here that are very interesting. Um, this is passed down through family family history. The two stood on top there, what you're looking at there, they've always been on top of um, what we're looking at. So basically what you're looking at is um, what would be known as a gun dump. And um, this is basically where the IRA would have stored, the flying column would have stored their guns. Um, and when there was a job to be done, or an attack, uh, they'd um, convene here, the safe house is up there, and um, somebody, the uh, officer in charge would, would uh, get the, the local company, would organise the guns to be taken out, and um, the ambush would take place, and usually what happened then is that the guns would be uh, brought back here. Um, now, in most of the time when the flying columns uh, really took off they were, they were armed let's say you'd have 30 lads armed the whole time but uh, the local company then would have a couple of guns as well themselves so but this is quite a big one here so so it's basically in here I'm going to take down the briars out of the way to give you a good look there now um, so just bear with me so The great thing about this is that um, the original corrugated uh, iron is still there. What you're looking at there. And if you look in, there's the... It's actually... It's it's a very big dump. Um, it's, going, it's going way in. I have the measuring tape with me, but... 